In an unusual fashion, the Ghana Police Service was compelled to disassociate itself from the comment of a senior police officer on election security ahead of the December 7 polls. Director General Research and Planning, DCOP Gabriel Prince Wabu, during a media interview, denounced the role of the military in election security management for the 2024 polls. According to him, the police is not going to involve the military as it were because it was not even the police that came out with this issue. He added, it will be only the police, the prisons, fire and then immigration that is going to conduct this election. They are going to support us. It is our baby. It is the police's baby. But we want to walk in our sister securities to assist in one way or the other. The police's response was swift, condemning the comment by the senior officer. According to the police hierarchy, the information by the senior officer concerning election security are unfounded and does not represent the position of the Ghana Police Service. The service subsequently disassociated itself from the comment while apologizing to the Ghana Armed Forces. Lastly, they announced disciplinary action against DCOP Wabu. The police's position surprised a number of citizens. ACP Dr. Benjamin Agojo retired, however, believes DCOP Wabu's comments were misplaced. Maybe if the officer had said something to the effect that the military will not be at the polling station, he may be right. If he had said something like the military may not be at the collation centers, he may be right. But when he makes an emphatic statement that the police, the military will not be involved in the election, that is a fallacy. An assertion backed by lecturer and security analyst with the Kofi Annan Peacekeeping and Training Center, who argues a meeting must be convened between the security agencies to address the issue. For this statement to come on at this time is very unfortunate and the police is right to come out with a statement and then probably back door they would want to meet the hierarchy of the military and explain things better. So holistically, I think what should be done is a meeting should be called. The military hierarchy, the police hierarchy, and all agencies that form the election security tax force, and then iron out some modalities. On the disciplinary action against DCOP Wabu, however, Dr. Agojo believes it is needless. In my opinion, I don't see why there should be disciplinary processes. Who selected him there? What 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 assessment did the person make of the officer before sending him there? What is the knowledge and the background of the officer? So it's a misplaced placement, and I don't think that it is fair to put that officer under any internal action. Although recommendations from committees and commissions demand the police takes the lead in election security, the role of other security agencies appear crucial than is envisaged by many.